It is the moment that makes most witches and wizards quake into their boots. The Hogwarts sorting ceremony. But why is your Hogwarts house so important? And what does it say about you? I've tried to answer that question through the house cocktails that I've created and imagined for the official release of the game everyone was waiting for. Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts was founded around the 10th century by Godric Gryffindor, Edgar Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. They've created the idea that each student would be sorted into an house based on who they were as a person and their individual traits as a witch or wizard. Each founder looked for the value they held in the highest regards. For Gryffindor, I choose to make a fiery drink with raspberry liquor, blood orange ice cube, a gin base, and all of it assembled like a vegan gin fizz with a beautiful aquafaba foam. For Hufflepuff, I've chose to center my drink around Clementine that remind me of the value, the patience and the calm feelings that come from the Hufflepuff house. Clementine juice adds a sweet and citrusy flavor to the cocktail, while gin provides a gentle infused kick. Orja, the syrup made of almonds, adds a nutty and slightly sweet taste to the drink, while lemon juice adds a little bit of tartness and kick. The little bit of amaretto on top just put it to the next level. Aquafaba gives a silky smooth texture and helps balance out the flavors, making the sip absolutely delicious. As the centerpiece of my Ravenclaw's cocktail, I've put jasmine tea. You might think it's quite a bold choice in a cocktail, and maybe you're right, but that's exactly what makes it so perfect for this house, because the wit of Ravenclaw would be nothing without a little bit of boldness, curiosity, and originality. You're not going mad. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. For a bluish cocktail, I've used some curacao and a little bit of butterfly pea tea in the jasmine tea. Both the Edza flower liquor and curacao harmonize very well with the jasmine tea and lemon, giving
giving a floral and fresh cocktail. For the slithering cocktail, I had to create a round absinthe with its greenish color and deadly reputation. This last cocktail has been the most challenging to create. I wanted to do it as the famous cocktail by a famous writer, Ernest Hemingway, a death in the afternoon. But it was way too licorice for us. But after a few tries, and honestly, a few fails, I managed to create an epic drink. For the infamous house. We have some cucumber juice and ice cube to soften the absence and bring further the green, some elderflower liquor and a dash of gin to bring further the herbal and floral taste, and some lemon juice and aquafaba to perfect the taste and texture, and topped with a sparkling wine and a few coconut milk skeleton ice cube. you enjoyed this video it was a project that was very dear to us but it was for sure a project that was quite different from what we normally do on our channel but that's also the type of content we would love to bring more often here being that it's a big part of our life outside of just being a vegan pastry chef and video maker we're quite geek for what it might mean in 2023 i'm Raven Clow and it's Slytherin would you have that self? Leave your own house in the comment section down below. And if you don't know it, I'm gonna leave the link to the official Wizarding World sorting test in the description. And of course, all the recipes are going to be linked down below and can be found on vegansweetaddiction.com, also the non-alcoholic one. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, learned anything, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Mischief managed.